Hi guys, my name is Anna Maria and if you are not new to my channel then you know that I do like a bit of psychology and I like learning and listening to psychology things and tips and tricks and during the lockdown period I had a lot of time to do a lot of research and to learn a lot about psychology and in this video I want to share five tips, tricks and techniques from psychology that will help you to develop your personality, to develop yourself, to succeed in your social life and to feel happier and to get the most out of life. Point number one is remember and repeat someone's name very often if you want them to be your friend, if you want them to like you, if you want them to get more into you. Obviously, don't exaggerate with it, okay? Repeat it just time to time. But if you want someone to feel valued, to feel important near you, if you want someone to like you and to feel good with you, then just start repeating a person's name a bit more often because our names are the sweetest sound that exists for us in our lives, okay? So Anna Maria is the sweetest sound for me in the world because I've heard it loads of times. I hear it loads of times every single day. So it's the best sound for me and your name is the best sound for you. And you know, it actually got very challenging and very complicated to remember names and to use this trick when I moved to Ireland because here are so many new names and I had to learn them, I had to learn how to pronounce them properly. And yeah, it was pretty difficult at the beginning, but I had to learn them, I had to develop my memory. So yeah, and now I'm trying to repeat people's names a bit more often. Like for example, you can say, instead of saying you, you can say, oh, Anna, have you heard about it? Or have a look, Anna. Or, um, what do you think about it, Anna? Okay, so you just start using someone's name a bit, a bit more often when you ask questions or when you say something, just implement it because very often when we talk, we say something like, oh, you, 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 but we can change a few yous, we can swap a few yous with the name. Also, to remember someone's name, I try to always be fully involved when I communicate with them, okay? So, like, for example, I can talk to someone and I try not to use my phone, I try to listen to what they say, I try to be involved in the communication with them, to be very engaged, I try to associate them with something, like, for example, somebody can be very similar to my mom, to my friend, to a person I know, or, for example, someone's perfume can remind me of something. So, this is how I remember people's names names easier. Point number two is write with a pen on a paper, okay, or in a notebook. It's very important because this is how our brain works much more, okay? Like, for example, I have noticed that in the morning when I can't wake up at all, I can start making some notes. I can plan the day, I can just write my thoughts, and I suddenly wake up and I feel how my brain starts working when I start making notes. I know that we are getting used to typing a lot because this is eco-friendly, because you can make much more notes and keep them in one place, which is amazing and is great, but writing is very important. I personally try to always carry a small notebook with myself when, for example, I go to a coffee shop, when I'm flying, when I will stay in a queue. Also, writing helps to deal with emotions. And, you know, you can start writing what you're feeling, you can start writing what you think about something, and it can really, really help you. Like, for example, let's say you had a very difficult breakup with your girlfriend or with your boyfriend, and all your close people, they're busy, they can't listen to you in this moment, so what you can do, you can take a diary and you can start writing your feelings, you can start writing everything you wanted to tell to your boyfriend or girlfriend. You can start writing a lot of information that's in your mind. And what happens in that moment? Sometimes we are so flooded with emotions that we don't even understand what they are. And when you start putting them down, you start to understand yourself much better. You have to formulate what you feel. And writing can help you to calm down, can help you to feel better, and can help you to understand and deal with your emotions easier. Point number three. Imagine that you are a 90-year-old lady or man and you see yourself, your young self, and you have so much experience. You have been through so many things in your life and you want to give yourself, your younger self, the best advice ever. 
Imagine that maybe this can be your grandma or your grandfather because these are people who really love us and these people really want the best for us. And imagine that you have so much experience in life, that you have been through so, so many things and you want to give just the best, the most amazing advice to your younger self, okay? And sometimes I think, what would I tell myself, my younger self? And I would definitely tell myself to slow down a little bit because very often I'm so busy and I think that all those daily tasks that I'm doing they are so important but actually they're not that important and if I feel tired I should just stop and I should just reflect a bit on my life and then I can keep going and I would give myself actually a lot of advice and like imagine that there is someone who really loves you and wants the best for you and what advice would they give you Point number four. Okay, so it gets a bit more therapeutical, but it's very interesting and you can start making notes and I'm sure that you will find out a lot of interesting things about yourself, okay? So imagine that your life finished, okay? That you lived your life and you died, okay? So your body died, but your soul is still alive somewhere. Now, think, what would you regret in your life? Maybe if you say that you have no regrets, what would you change? What would you do differently? So I will tell you about myself. If I was to die, I would probably not regret, but I would really like to travel much more. I would really like to spend more time with my friends and with my family because I really, really love them and they make me so happy. And I would really like to develop myself all my life and I'd really like to always try new things like for example new food, new places, new restaurants, new countries. I would really like to be much more open to people, to talk to people I really like, you know, and the idea behind this test is that you start implementing everything in your life right now. Like, for example, in terms of traveling and spending more time with my friends and family, I bought myself tickets to go back to my home country and to see my friends, to see my family, and obviously to travel there and to see my home again, because I'm really, really missing it. Also, there are a few countries I'd really love to travel to, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to make myself some plans, I'm going to think where I want to go exactly, I'm going to do some research about some hotels, some Airbnb places, about transport, about plane tickets and stuff like that so I'm gonna be prepared for traveling and I will implement this into my life I'm just implementing those little things in my daily life and this is how I feel that I'm living and this is how I feel better okay and now the last but not the least thing so it's a very interesting technique it's called Persona and Shadow by Jung and you can check this technique on Google and I'm just gonna tell you a few things about this But if you're interested definitely go and check some psychologists talking about it Definitely Google it or go on YouTube and listen more about this technique because it's actually very very helpful So now imagine you are sitting in a room and the door opens and a nice, lovely, interesting, friendly person comes in and you look at that person, that person is the same gender as you and you feel like, oh my god, you want to be friends with that person, you'd really like to talk to them, you'd really like them to be uh, communicating with you. So just describe that person, okay? Now imagine that person left and the door opens again and another person, person number two, comes in and you feel irritated, you feel unhappy, you feel disgusted, you don't want to talk to that person, you feel like, oh my god, you don't want to be a friend with that person, so describe person number two as well. Okay, so person number one is the persona, is who we are trying to be, is who we are trying to show to the society we are, okay? And person number two is the shadow. It's what we are trying to hide, it's what the society does not accept. The shadow are our traits and characteristics that we can't really accept in ourselves. Now let me give you the example with myself, okay? So my persona is a lovely, nice, beautiful, interesting, intelligent, smart girl who comes in and is so funny and sociable and so interesting and has such a nice style and is amazing, okay? And this is what I'm trying to show you that I am. This is what I'm showing to the society and this is what I'm trying to show to myself as well. 
But my shadow, that person I don't like, is someone who talks a lot, someone who is gossiping a lot, maybe a, let's say, a 40-year-old woman that's not afraid of anything, that has a very loud voice, that interrupts everyone, okay? So that's my shadow. It's still a part of me, but it's something that I'm trying not to show to everyone. It's still something that stays inside me, and that's it, okay? But you have to always think about the strong side of your shadow, okay? Like, for example, the strong side of my shadow is that that woman, that 40-year-old woman, is not afraid of anything. She's very courageous. She's a very strong woman. She will always do what she wants. She has a lot of inner freedom. And she always is ready. To, and she's never afraid to express her opinion, okay? And the idea behind this test, Persona and Shadow by Jung, is that you have to implement both Persona and Shadow in your life, okay? So use and leverage both of these sides in your life, okay? Like, for example, let's imagine that I need to go to an event. And in that situation, I'm going to use my persona and I'm going to be so nice and lovely and chatty to everyone and everything is going to be so amazing. But at the same time, imagine that I need to make a very difficult phone call and I'm so afraid and I kept postponing that phone call, but I have to make it. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to use my shadow and that 40-year-old woman is going to take the phone and is going to make that call without any problems, okay? Now, this video. You know, I actually find it very difficult to make these videos and it's not really easy for me to understand that so many people are watching me. And to be honest, I'm a bit, maybe a bit shy and maybe I'm a bit afraid. But what I'm doing right now, when I'm filming this video, I'm using my persona. I'm using my nice part of myself. But when I have to upload it, my persona is afraid to upload it. My persona is afraid of criticism. My persona is afraid of negative comments. And then I use my shadow and that woman, that woman edits this video, that woman uploads this video because that woman wants everyone to know who she is because that woman is not afraid to express her opinion. And this is when I use my shadow, okay? Guys, I hope it makes sense, but this is such a powerful and such an amazing technique to use. And if you start thinking about it and maybe if you do a bit more research about this technique, I'm sure that you might really enjoy using it in your own life as well. Okay, guys, I really hope that this video was interesting for you and I do have some more tips, tricks and techniques from psychology that you can implement in your own life. So let me know in the comments if you want me to film part two of this video, this topic, and I'll make it with a lot of pleasure for you. And please make sure you give this video a like, you do subscribe to my channel, and also check my Patreon account where I want to create a community of like-minded people that want to make nice connections, that want to meet interesting young professionals that want to make new friends. So yeah, make sure you check my Patreon to learn more about my community and obviously join it as well. And I will see you in my next one.